In order to have a long career in Hollywood, sometimes an actor's gotta mix it up. And we mean really mix it up. In fact, the competition in Hollywood is so intense that sometimes an actor has got to completely reinvent themselves in order to be taken seriously and get offered all of the most coveted roles. Whether it was transforming from a child star to a serious talent or shaking off a troubled past and moving into a much brighter future, here are some of the most famous actors to ever completely rebrand their image. We couldn't help but begin this video by talking about one of the biggest chameleons out there. The man who went from the ultimate teenage heartthrob and butt of too many jokes about sparkling in the sunshine, Mr. Robert Pattinson. Pattinson shot to immediate stardom after starring in the first Twilight movie, all the way back in 2008. For a long time, he couldn't shake his fate as Edward Cullen, moody, high school attendee, and oh yeah, vampire. While that kind of stardom comes with all kinds of perks, it also has a tendency to trap the actor in their defining role and never let them go. But Pattinson was determined to shed his pale, glittering skin and prove to the world that he is, and always has been, one of the most exciting actors out there. Despite two decades of taking on some of the weirdest, darkest, most boundary-pushing roles he could get his hands on, Pattinson was still met with a ton of pushback when it was announced that he would be taking on the iconic role of Batman in the upcoming Matt Reeves interpretation. But fears of his ability to transform were quickly quelled when audiences everywhere got to take in his astonishing performance in Robert Eggers' The Lighthouse. No one could walk away from that movie and still think Pattinson as a one-hit wonder anymore. You think you're so goddamn high and mighty just because you're a goddamn lighthouse keeper? While it might seem obvious of us to jump from one Twilight star to another, it only feels natural to move on to the total transformation of Pattinson's co-star, Kristen Stewart. Stewart's tormented portrayal of the angsty Bella Swan launched a thousand lip-biting, hair-twirling, downward-gazing impressions, and it really seemed as though she would be trapped forever playing moody teens. Over the last 10 years, Stewart's been steadily transforming herself from boy-crazy teenager into a much more authentic version of herself. After coming out on Saturday Night Live in 2017 and chopping off her Bella-esque long brunette locks, Stewart set out to carve a place for herself in cinema that was all her own. She has since become an indie favorite, starring in critically acclaimed films like Personal Shopper, Camp X-Ray, and The Certain Woman. Since then, she has once again reinvented herself and dipped her toe back into the world of blockbusters with the 2020 update of Charlie's Angels, where she actually impressed with her comedic abilities. Hey, he's gonna wake up. She's also tried her hand at taking on an icon or two, first portraying the French New Wave actress Jean Seberg, and will be appearing as none other than Princess Diana in the upcoming film Spencer. Moving on from the vampires for a moment, our next entry made an absolutely astonishing transformation from lovable funny man to global box office action superstar, and he has never looked back. That's right, we're talking about Chris Pratt. Pratt first became known to audiences as the adorably silly Andy Dwyer in one of the best workplace comedies of all time, Parks and Recreation. Please, my friends call me Andy Radical. Andy was known more for his well-intentioned but not so well thought out antics than he was for his rock hard abs, but when Chris Pratt was cast as Star-Lord in the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie, he changed all of that. He lost 60 pounds in six months and packed on a ton of muscle for the film. And when the first promotional image of him and his brand new six pack were released, it was clear that Chris Pratt was Andy Dwyer no more. Oh, 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 oh babe, you had a crush on me. That's embarrassing. Keanu Reeves has been through a lot in his life and has reinvented himself more than once. From the young goofy stoner he became famous for in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, to a bonafide action star in movies like Speed and the Matrix trilogy, and even dipping his toe into the role of a British accented nobleman in Bram Stoker's Dracula, but his most impressive transformation was his most recent. I know Kung Fu. Not only has he become the internet's most beloved boyfriend, who is willing to make fun of himself like he did in Always Be My Maybe, he stunned audiences everywhere with his appearance as the absolutely lethal John Wick. Whatever he decides to do next, we can never get enough of Keanu. Be excellent to each other and party on, dudes. Another actor who shot into the spotlight with his first leading role and then spent years making sure he wasn't typecast ever again is Jonah Hill. 
Hill came to fame after the Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg helmed hit Superbad. For a while afterwards, he continued to play awesome roles in various comedies like Knocked Up, Forgetting Sarah Marshall, Get Him to the Greek, and 21 Jump Street. But in that time, he also worked to prove that he could not only carry a comedy, but he could fit right into any prestige project that might come his way. He was nominated for his first Academy Award in 2012 for his supporting role opposite Brad Pitt in Moneyball, and again for his delirious appearance opposite Leonardo DiCaprio in Martin Scorsese's The Wolf of Wall Street. While he's never been afraid to jump back into the comedy pool, he continues to push himself in other directions, like with his transformative role in the TV series Maniac and as the director of the critically acclaimed mid-90s. Hill has definitely broken out of the funny man typecasting, and it'll be really interesting to see what he does next. All the way back in the 1990s to the early 2000s, it was never a doubt in anyone's mind that Angelina Jolie was an amazing actress. Rather than her actions on screen, it was her behavior off screen that had audiences and critics everywhere more than a little confused and even wary. In her earlier years, Jolie has admitted that she lived more of a punk lifestyle, which included partying and drinking and heavy drug use. She's spoken openly about battling depression, going so far as trying to hire a hitman to end her life when she was 20. Luckily, that attempt was unsuccessful, but her lifestyle was still not something that most fans could quite wrap their heads around. In the 2000s, the stories continued to pile up, like the infamous kiss she shared with her brother on the red carpet, and the stories that she and her then-husband Billy Bob Thornton wore necklaces that contained each other's blood. Everything changed for Angelina when she adopted her first son, Maddox. She completely transformed her life. I feel like I was I was uh, always kind of looking for purpose when I was younger, and I always wanted something wild and something just full of... I wanted my life to be very full. Now my life is beautiful chaos with these, these lovely little people. So. And over the years, became an outspoken humanitarian and an award-winning writer and director, determined to tell important stories about people all over the planet. Another actor whose talents were almost overshadowed by their personal troubles is the once notorious bad boy turned megastar, Robert Downey Jr. Downey Jr. has been acting on screen since he was a child, and in the 80s and 90s, he had made a name for himself as one of the most talented actors in Hollywood, receiving tons of critical acclaim for his roles in Less Than Zero, Chaplin, and Natural Born Killers, among many, many more. But while his career started young, so did his drug use. According to Downey Jr., his father allowed him to try drugs for the first time at six years old. And as he got older, the two would often use together, bonding in the only way his father knew how. By 1996, the problem had reached such a point that he was continually arrested on charges of possession of marijuana, cocaine, and heroin. Finally, he was sentenced to jail time and court-ordered rehab in 1999. His troubles continued for another couple of years, until he finally hit rock bottom and did what he had to do to get his life back. Slowly, from 2001 until 2008, he worked his way back into the good graces of Hollywood and earned his reputation as the amazing actor he always was, now clean and sober. In 2008, he partnered with Jon Favreau on an unknown project without a script called Iron Man. And well, the rest is history. You've been called the Da Vinci of our time. What do you say to that? Absolutely ridiculous, I don't paint. Lady Gaga made a name for herself in music as one of the most out there pop stars of the 2000s. She is no stranger to rebranding herself, as she's already done it over and over and over again through her music career. But one of the most surprising and unexpected things that she's done in recent years was to actually strip away all of her pop star persona for her Oscar nominated turn in Bradley Cooper's A Star Is Born. While she has acted in a number of other projects over the years, most notably in Ryan Murphy's American Horror Story, her performance in A Star Is Born is so completely not Lady Gaga that it took audiences and critics completely by surprise. In the movie business, people get typecast as all kinds of things. The funny best friend, the quirky nerd, the stoner, the bombshell, the bad guy, and the romantic lead among others. For Matthew McConaughey, it seemed like he was pretty much stuck as the leading man in every rom-com you can name from the early 2000s. Because of his good looks and easy southern charm, McConaughey slid his way into a ton of roles playing the charming, good-looking guy opposite any number of Hollywood's leading women. 
despite a couple of notable prestigious films like Amistad and Contact that made him a star, by the mid-2000s, McConaughey was on a rom-com roll. He starred in Ed TV, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, Failure to Launch, The Wedding Planner, and Ghosts of Girlfriends Past, cementing his place as a true Hollywood hunk. But in more recent years, McConaughey has completely reinvented the way we see him by taking on a number of wildly different and equally challenging roles. He flexed his comedic chops in Tropic Thunder, got serious in The Lincoln Lawyer, broke hearts everywhere in Interstellar, and really drove into the darkness for True Detective. Most surprising of all, however, has gotta be his Oscar-winning performance in Dallas Buyers Club. He continues to reinvent himself with every new role he takes on, proving that he is so much more than All right, all right, all right. <laughs> That's amazing. It's been such a long time since Bradley Cooper was anything other than an awards favorite leading man that we actually kind of forgot that it really didn't start out that way. In fact, Cooper's casting in Hollywood was totally different for a really long time. While he started his career in the hilarious cult hit Wet Hot American Summer, he quickly found his niche as, well, a huge jerk. That's right, for a long stretch of time, Cooper could be seen in a ton of comedies, but not as the romantic lead we might assume him to be. He had a special knack for playing the womanizing antagonist in all kinds of projects, like Sex in the City, He's Just Not That Into You, Wedding Crashers, and The Hangover Trilogy. But all of that started to turn around for Cooper when he began to take on more dimensional roles that allowed him to show off his real talents. And pretty soon, the Oscar nominations followed. He has since established himself as an actor with a lot of depth and range, and even a world-renowned director. Some of those changes are so dramatic that it's hard to remember who they were to begin with, and we're sure that these celebs would like to keep it that way. What did you think of this video? Did we miss any impressive changes we should know about? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to hit subscribe to keep up to date with all the latest videos from Screen Rant. See ya!